Heart valves can fail for a number of reasons. When we talk about the aortic valve, or the main valve in the heart, most commonly it's due to calcium deposits on the valve, causing the valve to become thick and not able to open as well. Over time, that puts stress on the heart muscle itself. As that progresses, the patient can feel more and more symptoms from that, whether that be chest pain, shortness of breath, or passing out episodes. Once a patient develops symptoms from their valve, it's important to have them evaluated for replacement of this valve. Up until recently, that was done with surgery, where the surgeon would open up the patient's chest to replace the valve. Now sometimes these patients are too sick to have these procedures done. So more recently, TAVR, or transcatheter aortic valve replacement, has been created for these patients to get their valve replaced, not through an opening on their chest wall, but instead through small incisions in their leg. So consequently, we have looked and have found uh, with our industry partners new ways to deliver heart valves. Uh, one of the newest ways is to deliver a valve uh, through the femoral artery. So we make a small cut down in the groin, and through that cut down, we put sheaths, which are big tubes that go into the blood vessels, and those tubes are directed toward the heart. Then the heart valve, which doesn't open properly, is ballooned open first. And then after we get a space where that valve is ballooned open, a stent, which is basically like a little chicken wire, is placed inside the location of where that valve is, and it's inflated with a balloon, and within that inflated stent is a new heart valve. And what happens then is the patient who has a valve that doesn't open properly now has a brand new valve that functions normally and his own valve is displaced to the side. So a, a very important feature of this TAVR procedure is in the studies it's shown not only to improve the length of people's lives but also their quality of life. For example, in one of our first patients here at Christ Hospital, his love was gall and he noted his symptoms of shortness of breath and fatigue while trying to play golf. So over the last few years, he had stopped playing golf. However, after this procedure, actually 10 hours after this procedure, he wanted to know if he could golf later this year. And in fact, he should be golfing before the snowfall. Everybody was so attentive to me when I was in the hospital, and they still are. I, I, I couldn't believe that uh, everything would go along so smoothly. If anything, after the surgery, there was always somebody in there about every hour. In fact, I, they had a nurse sitting in the, in the room with me, as I remember, through the whole intensive care procedure. So I knew I was under good care at the time. And my recovery was more rapid than I expected. In fact, I was ready to go home after a couple of days.